I am working on this calico cat and I would say this is about 90% um, done really. What I have left to do is uh, put a little bit more detail in these windows. I need to soften the edges. I need to take off the masking of the whiskers and in the eyes and soften all that and all this masking and then just see where I need to go from there. But I would say this is getting pretty close to done. So um, I just thought I would make a little quick video. I am puppy sitting this weekend. So I'm trying to get as much done before she drops them off, which should be any moment. <laughs> so it's about to get crazy, you guys, but it'll be fun. And I think this is a good test to see, should I get a puppy? Should I not get a puppy? Hmm. We will see how this goes this weekend. So anyway, what I'm gonna do first on this painting is get the whole background wet because I want this to be really soft because I'm going to put in a few more details in these windows. And that needs to be soft. And really this edge right here is really hard. So I gotta, I'll gotta, i probably have to go back in and scrub that, soften that out. I do not want it to pop forward. Hard edges, remember, pop forward. And soft edges kind of recede. And so when you're Thinking in terms of how am I going to guide the viewer's eye around this painting, you got to think in terms of soft and hard edges. And the eye will tend to go over soft edges and be attracted to the hard edges. Okay, puppy's on the way, you guys. <laughs> All right, so let's see how much video I can get done before this puppy invades my life. It'll be fun, though. I, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm looking forward to it. But check with me again at the end of the weekend and see how I feel. Okay, now I'm blotting some of that moisture up and I will have to work doubly fast because you might be surprised how fast paint dries or water dries. And I'm getting a combination of ultramarine blue and burnt sienna in about a milk consistency on my brush and that makes a nice gray um, the ultramarine and the burnt sienna together make a nice gray, uh, nice gray if it's kind of heavier on the ultramarine blue so I just want to go in and do a little bit more on these edges I do not have a very steady hand, you guys, so um, I'm just trying to go over this edge. Yikes. It's a little too wet still, but that's all right. We can work with it. I'm going to go choop, choop. I'm probably trying to do too many things. I should probably be going and puppy proofing my house, but I really need to work on these commissions too though, because they're all due for Christmas. <laughs> so I'm just trying to slam in as much as I can before puppy gate, puppy invasion. Do you guys have puppies? If so, do you have any advice for me? Uh, should be interesting anyway, right? All right, now this is pretty dry over here, so that's good. It's almost too dry. But I'll just go over with clear water over that little line where I want it to be soft. 
just soften that line right there. I'll probably go back in. enough for me to work on. So I have to do a lot of scrubbing. We'll see. We'll see how this turns out. to find these windows a little bit more. I don't know. This is bleeding a lot. I don't like it, but I'll have to go back in and scrub on it. It might dry less blotchy. It looks awful blotchy to me. See, look how blotchy that came out. I don't even know why. <laughs> um, put a little more texture. Why not in this kitty's coat while I'm here? And define that try not to have such a straight edge there. I love the curves and lines in this cat's fur. I really, when I saw this reference photo, I was like, oh, that's gonna be fun. I thought it would be really fun. Actually, this is all black in here. Might as well go in there and Marine, some burnt sienna. I use that a ton. This is all really dark in here in the reference. It's really cool, actually, because it really defines the nose. I like it. I'm trying to paint and see how this is looking on video, too, so you guys can really see what I'm doing here. I might wish I'd never show you, showed you if this doesn't turn out the way I want. I don't really like what's going on over here. We're going to have to work on that, y'all. But what I'll do probably is go back over with a very light wash. And you can see I already did that here with a light wash of ultramarine blue to just push the background back. And I think it needs another push. And that'll soften all this. And then I can go in and tweak all this. Um, so... It'll be fun. Famous last words, right? You can blot with your finger and it'll soften everything. It's a new little trick that I've been doing lately. Blot, 
blot, blot, just a little bit more. All right, that gives that some depth. All right. 